I think that part is very important. Yeah. And then, so speaking of the things, the good and the bad that Reddit has done, um, I actually went on to the Museum of Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, there are some moments that I wanted to go through with you, uh, and then we'll go. We'll open up for questions. So, it's kind of a little history timeline of Reddit. It's going to be bright, yeah. So the first one was in February of 23rd of 2009. A user created Imager because they were sick of seeing photo bucket links on on Reddit. And now Reddit does its own imaging service, correct? Yes. Uh, Imager's still there. But yeah. Yeah. We host a. We host the majority of our images now uh, ourselves. Where were you when, when Mr. Grimm created Imager? Um, I, I remember seeing that post. I left Reddit at the end of 2009, so I probably just statist like probabilistically was employed at Reddit when Imager was announced. Um, but and I remember I remember actually my, my feeling at the time. Actually, I do remember now. I was at Reddit, and I was happy they existed. I did not want to host images. I uh, did not want to have the liability of hosting images. Because at that time, Reddit, we didn't have to deal with copyright or like child porn or any of that stuff because everything was external. Um, and I knew that was a big burden on a lot of these yeah. companies. Now, I was a little naive. Uh, uh, and that now my, change, my, my thought has changed on that sort of stuff in terms of um, you shouldn't let the fear of uh, like, difficult challenges prevent you from doing what's correct for the business. Um, and so now we host our own images and we just deal with that stuff, right? You know, we have a big community team, big trust and safety team and, and legal team that just kind of deals with it. And, and as a result, or in exchange, we get to host our own images, which is very valuable. But I remember being a big, big fan of Imager when they launched because I felt like they were doing us a favor. They were doing us a favor. Yeah. And some of these you were probably weren't CEO during. Actually, the majority of them you probably weren't. Probably not. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, so, Secret Santa, Reddit Secret Santa was created uh, November 10, 2009. Uh, have you ever participated in Reddit Secret Santa? I have, I have. You want to explain what, I guess, Reddit yeah, Secret so Santa Yeah, so Secret is? Reddit Secret Santa, um, it's not something that we do officially. It started off as a, as a project from this fella. Um, it's the largest, it's the world's largest gift exchange. Um, so the biggest one we do is over Christmas, but we actually do a, a number over the course of the year. And you basically sign up, you get paired with a stranger somewhere in the world, and you send them a gift. Uh, well, not paired necessarily, it, you know, it, it, but basically you get an address and you send them a gift, and then you receive a gift from a stranger. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, we've had a lot of people participate, um, pretty much every country in the world. It's a really kind of fun, I think, globally uniting event we do. And uh, when you participated, do you remember what gift you got or gave? Um, I got most recently a Westworld themed cutting board. Uh, <laughs> a lot of giggles in the audience. Which was cool. <laughs> it was cool. I said I was into Westworld and I got this wood burned wood cutting board. It was sweet. Um, I use it. Um, <laughs> and the most recent one I gave, uh, I gave somebody in the Bay Area Warriors tickets. Oh, nice. Yeah. Probably very appreciative of that. Yeah. He was. <laughs> oh, next one. Was Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a Lego um, snow trooper guy. Okay, first you get his pants. They should look like this. Then you get this body. It has like stuff on it, and then this back you don't really need. But then you just put that on. You get this. You put that on the guy so it looks like this then you get a head I don't care if it's two sided or not it's like that then like that then you put it on the guy next you get one of these weird looking helmets they have like a cross on the top you put it on him you get gray glasses Actually, I don't really care what color they are, but you get gray glasses. You get any kind of gun. I'm going to use this gun. And then that's the Lego Snow Trooper. Thanks for watching. So this was a video that a user just submitted saying that his son makes these Lego videos and that he doesn't get any views and he's constantly refreshing looking for views. And it was kind of a, a great example of how the good nature of Reddit 
people just went on and started watching this kid's Lego video. And I don't know if you remem remember this video um, or even watched it. I don't remember the specific one. Um, I'm sure I saw it at the time. But this is actually a common thing. This just happened like a week or two ago. Somebody found a YouTube channel for this guy who does like wholesome movie reviews or something, or video game reviews. And he just had like tens of views. And like, this guy is awesome. We should like watch his stuff. And now he's got like a huge following. Um, and this is what I mean by like 99% of people are good, right? They just want to like spread a little joy. And I yeah, help their awesome. kid with a couple of views on his Lego tutorial. Next one is the world is greeted with Grumpy Cat on 2012 of uh, September 23rd. I think everyone can get behind Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat's famous now, too. This it, is a business. Yeah. <laughs> Reddit actually has helped create a lot of businesses. It's true. Or saved some or created them. Um, Many, including probably Amazon. <laughs> 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 we send Amazon a lot of traffic. Uh, and speak, <laughs> speaking of the business of Reddit, when did you guys go from not monetizing to monetizing? Um, we actually started, OK, so there's maybe, I'll answer two questions. When did we start monetizing? Um, that was actually probably, it was early, 2005, 2006. When did we start monetizing well? Uh, that was 2015. Um, <laughs> we've had ads on the site since almost the beginning. Um, but we've, we've gotten a lot better at it the last couple of years. And we haven't had to add any new placements. It's just the ads have gotten better and more relevant to users. Do you have tools to help advertisers create better ads? Uh, we have a team for that, actually, of brand strategists. That, because Reddit, advertising on Reddit is so different. When you're advertising in, in many other places online or in the real world, the strategy is often um, you're basically yelling your message at the customer. And you have to do that enough times that they, that they remember your company or your, your brand or whatever. Um, and on Reddit, it's much more conversational. And, but you, you can't, if you come in yelling, um, and if you come in like not sensitive to what community you're talking to, you'll just get killed. And so when we get, when we get you know, brands signed up for this experience and like, hey, this is your customer, this is like real uh, you know, valuable opportunity for you, we'll actually help them craft the message and the campaigns. Uh, and that's worked out really well for, for both of us. We'll go to the